Hello guys. Today I'm going to have a little go at um, a split cup pour. So this is my split cup. It's got a bit of dried paint in it but that's not a problem. Um, and I'm going to pour some paints that I've already pre-mixed with the 70% uh, 70% Montmartre clear PVA craft glue. Um, this is the only clear one that I can get to work uh, really well in my pores. The Alma's clear doesn't work or other cheap craft glues don't clear, haven't worked for me. But when I mix this particular craft glue at a 70%, and then add 30% warm water, give it a real good shake till it's all mixed, and then I basically leave it to settle um, and just add it to your paint slowly until you get your required um, consistency. So if you're in Australia, this is sold on our online um, store, which I've got the link below. I think if you're in the US and Canada it's not so easily available yet but I have got the link to the Montmartre USA and Canada and in the UK and Europe um, they're saying that they're seeing it but it's quite expensive delivery so hoping soon it will be easily available but if you're in the US the better or cheaper option for you guys because you can easily get the um, Elmer's glue all which is really wor always works really well for me also so so we'll get started I'm just using um, well I'll explain as I go along I'm not getting all these bits from just flying all over the place so I thought I'd just bring out my it's a twin split cup I got it from Lincraft which is like a craft store here in Australia so I'm not sure where you would get it from elsewhere. But today I'm going to mix some studio acrylics with the Montmartre studio acrylics. I'm going to mix them with milk paint and I'm going to add a bit of this. I'm going to see if this folk art, it's folk art 14 karat gold. I'm going to see if this, um, you know, comes up in my uh, pour and, and create some different kind of cells. I'm just going to try it and I'm going to mix it with milk paint and acrylic so it's going to be a right old um, an, an all mix an all mix a multinational multi multi um, materials mix. So I'll start off with just I just put some white on the bottom which is studio acrylics. And I think I'm going to stick with my bluey greens. I think so. Just want to. So this is the uh, phalo blue. Very excited because Montmartre's coming out with all these new colours at the end, towards the end of next month, February. So I'm really excited about all the new colours and to try those because. Um, it's wonderful to have new products to try, especially new colours. This is the milk paint that I've already had pre-mixed, so I'm going to pour in here. Don't know whether it will make any difference whatsoever. May do, may not. So we're just going to see. So that's the milk paint. Um, might add, no, I won't go. Okay, I'll use my favourite turquoise love this turquoise because I can always work with it to add different color uh, blue to it to send it a darker uh, add white to it to pale it down I just love my turquoise okay so I'll go back to the blue um, and I'll add some more milk paint. It did just be interesting to see what the milk paint actually uh, makes this paint do. It may make it fracture, 
which is fine because even fracturized paint can look very effective um, have some cool looks because once it's dry it's fine it looks um, yeah it just looks a different look in it oh love those colors really really love those colors together so a bit more of my turquoise yeah, I'm gonna just stick with the the blues, the bluey colours. Okay, this is a ooh, it's stuck in my little um, container there. So this is a uh, cerulean, cerulean blue, cerulean, cerulean Julian. Okay go back to a little bit of milk paint again oh no sorry that wasn't milk paint that was uh, studio acrylics I've used up the last of my milk paint so now I'm going to add this folk art 14 karat gold whether it makes any difference I don't know we'll just give it a go so I'm just gonna basically pour this out so it's sitting on the top So it should be the first pour and I'm hoping that it comes back up to the surface or it might actually be lost in there but you've got to give these things a try because um, that's how sort of new things and new products are um, found to either work or not work so it's art lab day okay I'm gonna turn it over this way I'm going to just lift my canvas slightly I'm not going to wiggle as I pour out I don't think um, because it might make my paints mix too much I might go up up and down maybe yeah that's an uppy and downy so the split cup pour hopefully will give it like a, a twin effect both the same either side don't want to mix it too much because it might well actually couldn't really muddy up because they're all blues in there and green so it's not actually going to go brown or anything I think I need to come over this way a bit I've gone a bit wonky It's interesting to try new things so it will be interesting mixing the milk paint and the um, metallic enamel I think it's enamel I'll have another look just love those colors though just keeping with the aqua oceany kind of colours and only adding the gold as a bit of hopefully a pop up but it might be completely lost not sure just got to try it This milk paint does smell funny though. <laughs> I suppose it, I mean, because it is made somewhere along, obviously with milk, but I'm not sure of the process. I know somebody's asked me all the technicalities of it all, and I just suggest really to Google. Wow. Wowzers, wowzers. So, loving this goal here with the blue staying separate and do I give it a little hit with the heat before I tilt let's give that a try so I'm going to use my um, wonderful wand my heat wand which I'm loving um, it's kind of making my 
butane gas torch get redundant except on big pores so I'm just loving this because it doesn't blow the paint or anything again the Australian supplier is in the bottom link um, this paint is very fluid very runny I think it should have gone a bit a bit more um, a bit thicker but we're just trying it. Look at that. Looks gorgeous actually. Beautiful colours. Oh look at these coming up. How gorgeous are those? It's the heat one. Just takes a little bit longer because you're just slowly heating the paint to bring out the reaction in it, the cells, but it doesn't burn the paint, so good thing, it's a good thing. Wow, wowzers. Now I'm scared. Tilting, I don't want to tilt this gold off. So that's going to be a little bit. I can try and get to the corners. I'm not going to worry too much because I can always put some white over there, I suppose. Yeah, that may work. I'll just put some white. I don't want to lose too much of it. Might as well use this up on the last bits of it. Just want to thank you guys so much as well for subscribing to my channel, all your positive feedback. I really, really, really do appreciate each and every one of you um, and just love our little paint pouring community that we have okay I don't want to stuff this up because I really love the colours but I'm obviously not going to be able to keep them all there oh, okay wow really love those colours together I'm not sure if the milk paint is really, it does seem to do some fracturing but in a nice way because it just gives another point of interest on your work, but wow, wow. how do I run it off without losing my gold, I don't want to lose the gold, I've got to have some in there. I'm hoping I'll tip it back that way and over this way. So just just do it nice and slowly, no hurry. Just a bit more. Some of that lovely gold. I like it. I like it. Look at those colours. Wow, actually not going to disturb that, um, I mean I'm not going to tilt it over there but I might work on this a bit to bring up some of the colour over to the corner, so just finger pop the edge but that is actually gorgeous, it's really oceany and organic looking whether the more cells will come through as, as this sits and develops, that remains to be seen, obviously. But I love the colours. It's given a really, yeah, it's oceany feel. Let's just see what I can, this is just a wooden skewer. I don't use the pointy end, I use the roundy end. 
So I'm just going to see if just bringing in some of the paint. Don't be frightened about leaving some negative space, even if the whole painting hasn't got any more than just this these corners because it's absolutely fine. Let's work with your little skewer so that just bring in the colours into that white, which is quite nice. Beautiful actually. I like it. I might just give it a little go with my heat wand, wonder wand. Who was it lady put on my comments? Call it your wonder wand instead of my magic wand. Wonder wand. I love that. I love it. Well, I don't think the gold, really, the metallic gold, really um, made like a whole lot of difference in cells or anything. Oh, look at that. But it's certainly nice having it in there because that will dry really sheeny, shiny. That's gorgeous. Actually, where the milk paint is, it's really give an organic feel to it. It's it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm happy. I'm happy with that one. It's nice to do um, something that like, looks more organic, more ocean or geographic almost. It's very nice. I like it. Hope you do too. I'll give you a close up and I will post some photos at the end of it being dried off so here you go look at this i think that is a beauty i'm really happy with it let me know what you think guys um and have you tried the milk paint and the uh, folk art um enamel in your work and um how did that turn out if you want to join me on my acrylic art by Jilly Cube Facebook page and um, there's a little um, we've created a group there that you can then put all your work and show me um, I've got a few moderators because I'd find it too difficult trying to keep my um, this YouTube channel getting answered plus my acrylic art page um, plus my videos so uh, we have moderators there but I certainly do look at what you post so hop over and have a look at that uh, and join our little group it's just another acrylic art pouring group so you can let me see uh, your creations and everybody else and everybody can join in okay you guys thanks so much for joining me today until next time bye for now